Hey, I'm doing a home cooking meal at Tater Tot Casserole. Okay, let's get started. First thing I need is the ground beef. Okay, got that ready to go. Now, we're also gonna be using broccoli, so I wanna go ahead and just put it on my griddle. Let it slow cook it here. I've got the griddle on about a low heat. We're just gonna let it simmer a little bit while I get the ground beef ready. And we're gonna cook the ground beef on the other side. Okay. Now we're just gonna make the hamburger meat. Just like you would spaghetti meat. You're gonna grind it all the way down. Let it cook down. It's not gonna need any seasoning at all. Cause we're gonna add that a little bit later on to it. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook a little bit. Now, in order to get my broccoli to cook a little quicker, I got some water. And I've got my black stone cover. So we're just going to spray a little water in here, get the steam going, put the cover on it, leave it sitting there for a couple minutes. We're just going to worry about the ground beef. Look at that. I got this side on medium heat. It's going to cook a lot faster. We're gonna move it over a little bit. Got another ingredient I'm gonna add to the middle. And again, being that it's a 36 inch griddle, I got plenty of room. Now, first thing I wanna do is start off with a little bit of oil. Right in the middle. You ain't gotta be greedy on it. And we add some tater tots. Now, for tater tots, make sure all of it hits the griddle. Now, I've left my tater tots they're frost. I didn't throw them on there frozen because I want them to be soft. And they're going to cook a lot faster. Okay. Now, so we got three things going on at one time. We're going to let them cook about three to five minutes. And then we'll see if we can flip them on over and do the same thing to the other side. Uh, bring it on in. Let's see where we at. I've been letting it cook a little bit. Time to flip the meat. Okay. Now. Something we ain't checked on yet is the broccoli. Flip them over, folks. Ain't much to do to them. Just get them gathered back together. Stick the lid back on. That's the easiest part of the meal right there. Now, look at that. You can see where the tear tops are starting to brown. That's what you want. Beautiful. Spread them back out and let them cook a little bit longer. Make sure you never really thought about putting uh, tater tots on a black stone. Most time people stuff them in an oven. But you're going to see how I'm going to cook these. How I'm going to put them in a pan whenever I put the meal together. Okay. While that's cooking, I'm going to get me another beer. All right, time to get busy again. This hamburger meat is getting very close to being done. Now, if you use the, like a 90% hamburger meat, you ain't gonna be fighting all that grease and so on, folks. So. Take the tater tots, flip them again. Look at that. Now they're getting to have that golden color. They're looking good. 
man, that's one good thing about me standing on this grill. I get to smell all this food, and this smells freaking fantastic. Look at the steam coming off of that. Flip them one more time. My lordy, I think they are done. We'll take that top off. Get my bowl. Let's just stick them in here. Now, we've made some brown gravy inside because, uh, frankly, it's a little bit simpler. And I'm going to show you how to put all the toppings together. They're just about ready to go. Now, the brown gravy is right here. And what I want to make it in is my 13 by 9 pan. So, we're done with the tater tots. We're just going to place them all inside. Got all my tater tots inside the pan. Now we're going to spread them out. And here's the fun part. Now we're going to squeeze them down. We're just going to make a nice bed of tater tots. Simple, simple, simple. Okay. Turn that black stone off because I feel like I'm cooking also. <laughs> Matter of fact. We're right here. Now, bring it in and show that perfect little setup right there. Move that to the side. And I'm going to start pouring in that beautiful brown gravy. That's how you season it the meat. Now, that's two seasoning packets of brown gravy, folks. There we are. Mix it all together. Then, line it up on top of the potato tops. This is a meal you can throw together really, really fast. Any day after getting off of work or a Sunday when you really don't want to be cooking that long, this is how you do it, folks. Spread out evenly. Now, if you notice, I put the pan back on the blackstone griddle because uh, I'm still cooking and browning the brown doing the tater tots at the bottom. And just spread that out perfectly. Okay. So let's move forward to the next ingredient. We got some cheese here. This is mozzarella with a little bit of pepper jack mixed into it. Be kind of liberal. We got plenty of cheese. We're gonna put some right here in the middle and then we're gonna put some on the top again. Okay. That's gonna melt beautiful. Now, next thing you wanna do is take the broccoli florets Drizzle them on top. Spread them out. Bring it back to the middle of the paint, middle of the pot. Okay. Now, I'm going to push it down again just to get everything even. And I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun season to mine. Now I use Creole Tony seasoning right here. You ain't got to use too much of it, just a light sprinkle. Okay. Now we want to come back with the next layer of cheese. And as hot as everything is in the griddle, it'll melt pretty darn fast. There we go. Don't be afraid to put too much on the better it is the more you got on there now I've got two packages of cheese basically okay now got that right there we're gonna come back I'm gonna cover that up with blackstone uh, dome 
and we're gonna let it heat up and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like in about 10 minutes. Okay, we are at the final moment. Yes, that is looking beautiful. We are done with the dome, done with the meal. You can see where it's bubbling all around the edges. It's perfect, guys. Absolutely perfect. Now, it's time to dig in. So we're gonna dig in by cutting this little spot. Let's see if I can get it out of here without destroying it. You got the tear tots on the bottom, the hamburger meat, everything coming off. One huge, beautiful casserole. Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs>